ultramarine black. That's burnt umber and ultramarine blue, one and one. Okay, so let me again wipe my palette. And I already have a puddle of burnt umber over here, so let's pull that over. It's got a little red in it, but it's not going to hurt too much. Okay, and our recipe is one to one, and here's some ultramarine blue still sitting over here, but I'm going to need some more. It's, it needs to be one to one, plus it's a weak tinting strength. Okay, let's try that amount. You see it getting darker, but it isn't a carbon black. It's a warm black. Um, Deco Art has this color also, it's, and they call it soft black. So you might have seen this color in the Americana paint by Deco Art. Okay, I think I might put a little more ultramarine in there. Just to pull it down a tad darker. Okay, I think I'm satisfied with that. So this is our warm black. And I'm pulling it right over here into the same area of the palette as the other mixes we just made. Okay, now I've got that Hansa Yellow just kind of sitting in there in the middle of it all. And if I don't use it, then I will um, scrape it out and move it. It's just some that I had left over from another, another lesson. And... Uh, I saved it in my palette for about, I think it's been sitting in there for a month or more. Okay, so our next um, mix, basic mix to make is YT, yellow tint. So we need our warm white and Hansa yellow. So let's go back over here to the warm white that we mixed. And I'm going to take a portion of it. Put that down and our formula is one part to one touch. Warm white and Hansa yellow. So what we're actually doing is just making a deeper color of the warm white that we originally made. So I'm going to come back over here and pull a little more yellow out. And I think we're going to need yet a little more. a little at a time. Okay, I think that's coming out kind of pretty. Yeah, that's enough. It's very pale yellow, just enough as a yellow tint. Okay, let's pull this over. And let's put this in the corner by the warm white. Okay. And we have one more in our basic mix, and that's the violet. And we're going to take violet, and we're going to take red violet, and naphthal red, and ultramarine blue. We're going to start with, we're going to make this a value four. So we're going to start with one red violet, one part red violet. And we're going to use a touch of, uh, you know, I forgot I had some red violet sitting over here. So let's go ahead and use that. Make this just a little bigger. And then next is a touch of naphtha red. So I've got it over here. Let's come over and grab that. And two parts of ultramarine blue.
Okay. Looks like about two. Okay, let's mix this. Oh, I'm liking this already. A very, very clear purple. Very clear violet. We use naphthol red. I think maybe that was for a little brightness. And we used red violet and ultramarine blue, and they're all on the outside of that um, pigment wheel. And they don't cross into the middle at all, and you can just see how very clear and pretty this violet is. I really like that. So let's move it over here. And let's bring it down here by our toner. Now, I really hadn't looked, I just kind of skimmed over the other mixes, and I hadn't really looked um, yet to mark how m many times each of these basic mixes are used. And I should have done that before we mixed them, because then I would have had a better idea of how many, how large a puddle to make. So I would recommend that you do that before you start mixing from this video. Okay, so um got a few things here we can put in our yuck jar. Right now my jar is kind of olive green. And I'm about to put this light violet into it. And that's interesting. Kind of lightens it up a little. And now I'm going to put some burnt umber and napa red into it. So, probably end up back about where we started. Yes, oh, no, it's kind of a khaki green. It's kind of cool. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the table mix. Because that's the first thing we're going to paint. And we'll go ahead and mix this table mix on this video. Okay, so, uh, on our instructions, there are, this is the legend for mixing your, palette, your paint. This little underline, the underscore, indicates it's a basic mix. And that's why all of these mixes right here have lines underneath them. And here you'll see the asterisk means start mixing with this mix. So when we come down here to do this table mix, we're not going to start with the highlight. We're going to start with the medium mix because that's where our asterisks are. And then we're going to build the lights from there and the darks from there. The parentheses indicate an optional or add just a touch. Now we notice down here, let's see, when we we're making this, then the... Uh, Nathal red and the, and the red violet were optional, and it turned out that they, that when I used them, that we got a little bit too red, and that was the um, light violet that I just pushed off into the yuck jar. So remember that. And ATO means add a small amount, a touch of small amount of paint, less than a grain of rice. And touches means to keep adding as many touches as necessary to obtain the desired color. So a touch doesn't do it, do another touch, do another touch till you get it. The basic mixes are used for some of the color mixes, while others are used for accents and reflective lights, etc. Now this pale blue will be um, the reflective light color, but some of these others I suspect will be using as we mix. Okay, so let's come down here with the table mix, and we're going to start with our medium, and we're going to mix raw sienna, burnt umber, and our background mix, 1 to 2 to a touch of for value 5. It says if it's not red enough to suit you, add a touch of red violet. Well, here's where, if the mix we make doesn't quite work, here's where I might be able to pull in some of this red 